is on child related initiatives and protection online and uh, Christina will introduce the speakers. Um, next up we have Toma Sa, a youth former representative of the study group on social media youth from Japan. And the child speaker is Constantino, who is 16 and Hello, uh, my name is Kostandinos, I'm 16 years old and I'm from Greece and I'm the founder of Teach for Greece. So Teach for Greece to me is a place where Greek teenagers can express their opinions and propose solutions for uh, issues concerning Greece, which is the country where I'm from. Uh, that platform was created uh, last year with the idea in mind that children are not heard throughout Europe and especially in my country. Also. Uh, through my project, I try to empower the youth and by giving them my voice. My initial thought was that I would create a voting system where teenagers would uh, vote for the best solutions and then those solutions would be sent to uh, political parties and uh, with this way we would show uh, that teenagers have a voice and they have ideas and their solutions can be uh, ideal for uh, problems that exist. So actually it is a forum of uh, six main subjects, which include the economy, education, um, society and human rights, entrepreneurship and uh, business. So it's important to clarify that the forum is not connected to any political party, any, as the idea behind this freedom of speech. What I want teenagers is to express their ideas without fearing any criticism from uh, teenagers or adults. Because um, currently, if someone writes their opinion on Facebook or Instagram, someone might criticize them or uh, even attack them with hate speech. And teenagers may be afraid to express themselves because of that. And uh, what I offer with my forum is safety from criticism. I mean, criticism can be uh, subjective because someone might judge your opinion, but with a uh, a way that is acceptable by the other one. The problem is when there are uh, inappropriate words or inappropriate insults to the other person which are not acceptable by anyone. So what I'm making is for a dialogue between teenagers from, from Greek teenagers from all, the, all over the world who have a voice and uh, have interest in uh, the problems our country is facing. Um, so my project was served by over 60 new agencies in the world and in Greece. Uh, many of them include uh, Life Good Team, a really famous Greek broadcaster, uh, Huffington Post US, and uh, Ethnic Kirks, which is an American agency for uh, elderly people. I'm also creating two new campaigns now on the website called the Mentor Campaign and Ambassadors. Uh, while doing this project, I saw that many teenagers were lacking vision and their role model. So, through Teens for Greece, I decided to invite some world renowned figures such as uh, Elsa Stamatopoulou, Peter Economidis, and George Prakas. Uh, we inspired teenagers and showed them that there is a way out of the problems. Uh, for example, Elsa Stamatopoulou uh, is currently the Columbia University Director for Intentions People, and she worked in the UN for 22 years. Uh, Peter Economidis is a global brand scientist and has received the Lifetime Achievement for, uh, from the Award for LA Council of America. The ambassadors will be teenagers aged from 13 to 18, uh, which will uh, be responsible for sharing the idea to their teenage, to their friends or to their neighborhood. Um, I'm also, I also want to thank uh, you, Smile, Smile of the Child, Your Child, and Child Rights Connect for giving me this opportunity to be here today. Thank you. That were, uh, there was this uh, child who wanted to participate in the forum, but uh, would not join in without uh, using a fake <coughs> name because uh, she was afraid that uh, the others would judge him for his opinions. And the thing is, on Facebook or on the other social media, you uh, have to use your real name because uh, now Facebook is doing checks in order to check your uh, validity of your account. Uh, my problem, I don't have a problem with using a fake name. That's why I like on the website. Uh, but I think that 
uh, teenagers and other street boys their opinion uh, without worrying uh, criticism because um, constructive criticism and the dialogue is the foundation of democracy but um, what's happening right now uh, with lots of uh, even teenagers or young adults participating in extremist group that is becoming less and less uh, democratic procedure we see more uh, hate speech we see more um, racist group growing and that is something that is uh, restraining teenagers and young people Very true, very true. All right, if the forum is now open for questions and answers, uh, we do have some time left. Yes, gentlemen at the back. I'm Kagome uh, from uh, uh, Japanese Mission. Um, my, my question is that uh, to, to view that, uh, you know, that uh, uh, one of four, you know, that, uh, the representative for uh, I mean, Tomomasa that uh, you know, he, uh, he talks about uh, you know, the importance of uh, local uh, government's involvement, but uh, is it uh, not to you know restrict the, the uh, discussion among children, or is it a good way of uh, you know, uh, expanding the space for the children? And uh, my question to uh, Constantino is that uh, do you what, what do you think about the you know, involvement of uh, you know, local uh, Government or state government or all the activities? Thank you. Uh, clarification question on the internet activities or uh, so the question was the involvement of government on the internet activities or uh, overall? <coughs> oh, um, my, my question is in uh, supporting your activity. Oh, the government. Uh, uh, as I mentioned, uh, the aim is for uh, the forum to be not a political connect to any party. Uh, however, uh, if a certain state uh, chooses to promote uh, children's rights and shows that he creates programs which will promote and protect uh, children's rights, well, uh, I'm open to discussion. However, I'm not promising anything because I need to see what's happening. But uh, if a government is willing to do something, then I'm open for a discussion. The, the strategies for protection of children that have been attacked on the internet, those who speak out. Yes, there hasn't been any attacks on my forum. Mm -hmm. uh, but on Facebook, I think you can, uh, specifically Facebook, I think you can report the other comment for um, violence or. Uh, uh, comments that are um, offensive, but uh, if something ha happens in my forum, if there is like, because I have some rules, uh, for, for example, there is a, no one is allowed to swear or be offensive to the other person, so if that happens, I warn the person that this comment will be removed unless changed, uh, and then um, if he doesn't comply with the rules, or uh, obviously um, that person will get a warning and then He'll be banned from the forum unless he changes his uh, stance against the other people and becomes respectful. Yes, and the question from here, this young lady. Hi, my name is Dulce Castillo. I'm from the Inter American Children Institute. It's a really great job that you're doing here, Tomomasa and Constantino. We are developing a program that includes uh, students, parents, and teachers about the protections of children in the internet. But I really want to know what have to need a platform to promote children's rights by the internet. Because only we have doing this in Panama and Dominican Republic, and they have lack of opportunity to access to the internet. But I prefer that you and Tomomasa can help me to know what exactly tools have to have the um, a platform to promote children rights. Thank you. Uh, Tomomasa, do you want to reply or should I reply? Well, you can both. Yeah. Uh, so. 
for, first of all, you need um, to check the laws of your country in terms of uh, personal data and uh, internet security, or like, because uh, some states have a restriction on uh, the age limit for teenagers to uh, sign up in certain uh, platforms without the concept of the parents. Uh, for example, in Europe now it's 16, the new GDPR law. Um, in the US, they have the COPA law, but I'm not sure exactly what the age limit is. And then you have to uh, create the website, of course. Uh, in which form you want, you can use various tools such as WordPress or uh, <coughs> But um, I think you might need a program in order to set the forum. And then um, for the website, you can just use the tool to uh, change things while the website has been done. You can then set um, the tool which can change the banners and 